What goes around just comes around. This goes around just comes around. What 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 is up, folks? Welcome to Epileptic Gaming. It is week 141, and today is Wednesday, and it happens to be open phones today. I got one question for you guys. Won't you be my neighbor? That was for Robert Summer right there. Make another comment about my sweaters, and I will fucking kill you. With that being said, guys, we got a good show for you because it's your show. It is open phones, and I do have a discussion piece. Uh, I've got some. Uh, I, I've got some things, some videos that I want to show you guys to discuss because I do think it's something that has been happening uh, a lot more lately. It's it's been uh, hitting the news. It's been getting bad press. Uh, in some cases, it's been getting good press. But we'll talk about that in just a second. I'm the host of Epileptic Gaming, DJ Wheat, the world's oddest human, and I want to introduce the other ass clowns that help make the show possible. Over on Stick a Mystery Moderation, we've got Tyler. What's up, buddy? How's it going? My fingers hurt so bad right now. Why? Because I built so many, so much furniture today. I built more today than I have in my entire life. You've, you've been Which means for, more than yeah. zero. Well, putting for, together for furniture. Peggy? Yeah. Yeah. Peggy's our, Peggy's our, uh, our little uh, hottie at the front desk who... You know, I well, I don't know what Peg, Peggy's the glue that keeps this company together. She's yeah, the glue that keeps really the uh, she's the glue that keeps the executives yeah. together. Yeah. That's important. And, and speaking of glue that keeps things together, that's Hogan Cameron Carter right over there on production. What's up, y'all? How you Yo. doing? Yo. Welcome. How's it going, buddy? Right over there. We're giving away a webcam today. Yes, we are. One um, two megapixel stickum webcam, you guys. And we's gonna uh, have the details. I think that Tyler and Suma actually have one uh, right there for us. Uh, stick a brand. Oh, all right, throw it my way. There no camera. In there. I can't find them. I don't know where they are. Well, that's why you aren't in charge of it, boo, Suma. Boo, boo, boo. <laughs> no, yeah, so. Can you please? We've got some yeah. two megapixel. We got them, uh, dude. Don't worry. Webcams. I, we They're got here. twenty-five <laughs> of them. Thanks, Suma, for nothing. All right. Uh, we got open phones today, guys, but uh, first, Before. we got a couple things. Uh, tomorrow's review day, we got Uncharted, Assassin's Creed, and Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles. And I've been getting a lot of emails from guys that watch Suma and I play Umbrella Chronicles uh, not too long ago, and they're like, why are you guys reviewing it? I pretty much saw what you guys thought about it, but, you know, Force has an opinion, too. So we're going to be dropping that on you. That's tomorrow. And then Friday, uh, thanks to Mr. World Famous Robert Suma, uh, we are going to have Time Shift producer Kyle Peschel on the show. And uh, if you remember, back during E3, Suma did a really great interview with Kyle Peschel about Time Shift. So we're going to have him in the studio, and we're going to get to talk a little bit about Time Shift, maybe why it wasn't as well-received as, as uh, I, I think that they would have hoped for it to be well-received. But Kyle's a great guy. It's going to be our honor to have him in the studio, and uh, hopefully it will be yours as well. That will be Friday during the free-for-all, um, and I'm definitely looking forward to that. Now, before I get to my major news item, there's a little something something that I want to talk about. Now, I'm a big, big fan of any press. Uh, good press, bad press, mediocre press. Uh, I don't, you know, really, really press. shitty press. Right, really shitty. Well, any, I just, you know, press is press is press. And uh, this morning, Suma sent me a link to a website, stickydrama.com, S T I C K Y drama.com. And apparently, it's a web page run by a Stickum member. And all it does is it talks about various drama that takes place on Stick'em. Now, I went through and I read some of the old posts and they talk about, you know, this guy seeing this girl and this girl lying about a boyfriend and, you know, blah, blah, blah. It all, it all seems pretty, uh, uh, pretty basically mind-numbing and stupid. But today they decided <laughs> to post something on their page about... How bad epileptic gaming sucks. You know what? We do I, suck. We're we, fully aware of the fact that we suck. We suck but balls. But they also said that we're small. And so I want to prove to these guys that, you know what? We've got a little bit of uh, EG power behind us. So what I would love you guys to do is to head on over to stickydrama.com and comment on that post. And we're going to be, you know, we're going to be looking at the, uh, at the status of the post throughout the show. But all you got to do is, uh, you know, put your best 
random flame that you possibly can in there. It's and really easy to leave comments. You know, let's let's show them. Yeah, you don't got to register. You don't have to do shit. In fact, comment eight fucking times. <laughs> comment twenty times. The bigger we get it, the better. All right, we want to show these bitches. You know, they want some drama. We'll bring drama to their fucking doorstep. How about that? <laughs> so uh, stickydrama.com. We'll be updating you throughout the uh, throughout the show. And camera, just make sure that you uh, keep an eye. I on will that get my F five on. All right, F five is on. Stickydrama.com. Go. It's like the second or third post now. Um, anyway, all right. I do have an open phones topic for today, you guys. And uh, it is going to involve watching a couple of videos, so let's get right to it. Now, since I've been gaming more and more on my PS3, I've definitely noticed a large difference in the maturity and the abusiveness of Xbox Live players versus those who are playing over PS3. Now, first and foremost, you could say that not as many people have voice over IP capabilities on the PS3 than on the Xbox. A lot of people have got headsets. Um, not everyone's got a Bluetooth headset or the iToy or some way to communicate on the PS3. However, recently two videos have been featured highlighting just how bad it is on Xbox Live right now. Now, the first video is a news report. It's part funny and it's part reality, and I want us to watch this. It's actually from game trailers uh, as someone captured it off of their TV, but I believe it is actually a Fox Network report. Let's watch this from one. From Milwaukee. Check no it out. No doubt. No way. I got you. Help. <laughs> it's called trash talk, the kind of talk a gamer uses to egg on his enemies while trying to save the planet from alien invasion. Oh, I heard oh, kill from the grid. But this talk is different. Hey, go yourself, bro. This talk is filled with ugly racial slurs, anti-Semitic rhetoric, homophobic chat, and sexual innuendo. Canadian it's the kind of talk that is not acceptable anywhere in polite society. I hate I hate, I hate, I hate Jews. <laughs> and guess who's listening? Your children. I got oh. It's the most popular game now on the market, Halo 3. For you parents totally out of the loop, here's how it works. Your children can play the game by themselves, online with just their friends, Alone. or actually carry on a conversation with faceless, nameless opponents over a headset. Online games like Xbox allow you to play with anyone from around the world. Game is really That's part cool. of its appeal <laughs> and part of the problem. If you play online, you risk hearing this. Damn, I wish Hitler would have succeeded. I'll be dying this hour. <laughs> Michael Sullivan is an inspector for the Illinois Attorney General's office. There is no silver bullet that's going to kill everything out there. There's no extra software. It still comes down to the best defense for a child is an active parent. Parenting. Xbox has a complete list of directions to set parental controls on a web page, but first, a parent needs to figure out how to work the game controller before sorting through the guidelines. <laughs> how many know how to implement the parental control on the Xbox. Nobody does. Didn't know there was one. I didn't know there was one. <laughs> didn't know there was one. I knew there was one, but I would have to have Alex show me how to use it. When we first spoke with these parents, they heard some of the language. Something slips out once in a while. But they said they never expected the racial slurs. You <laughs> you you Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Monkey. <laughs> and frankly, neither did we. How many of you guys while playing Xbox Live, have heard the F bomb. Yeah, definitely. Have you? Oh. Like all the time. Yeah. All the time. What about the N bomb? <laughs> really? Oh my God. I heard it today. You heard it today. You just kind of ignore it, get used to it. So, what's a parent to do? Limit play to friends and neighbors? But if it's just your friends, just the friends you know, would that be okay? Yeah, but what if they're not on and you can't play? It'd be more boring. Yeah. One way to censure? Eliminate the voice option. I said no because I like to meet new people and like learn stuff about them like where they're from like and, how many racial yeah. slurs they okay, know maybe, <laughs> maybe fact, any i don't know old advice never talk to strangers doesn't work here we need to constantly be educating the children as to the fact that each new piece of technology brings with it new dangers new lessons that the children have to learn to be safer online in texas oh, a woman enticed credit card information out of some young boys <laughs> in ohio the middle school was locked down after a teen sure don't go to ohio texas after an xbox live chat in missouri a gamer using the name devil devlin 
turned out to be a sexual predator who kidnapped two young boys. Who's balding? In California, a man molested a 14-year-old boy he met through Xbox Live. Ew. Yet none of this has hurt sales or stopped teens <laughs> from waiting in long lines for the latest exploits of Halo 3. Sales projected to be $1 billion very soon. So again, what's a parent to do? Oh man, I'm gone. Tell your kids if they hear offensive talk, report it. Xbox offers its own internal policing procedure. And if oh, nothing yeah. else works, hit the mute button. Because you know that, you know, people are getting banned left and right for all of the shit that they're saying on Xbox Live.